Hi everyone, it's Lainey. I am still in the Ghetto Motel in Motel 6 in Fresno. And I look like I belong here. <laughs> I have no makeup, no hair products, except for shampoo and conditioner. Um, yeah, my hair's like looking, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I belong in this Ghetto Motel. Um, I have something really hilarious to tell y'all. So yesterday I walked over to the 7-Eleven, which is next door. I'm a smoker, remember? I had to get a lighter because my lighter crapped out. So it was probably about two o'clock in the afternoon. I walk over there, get my lighter, walk back. And as I'm coming in front of the hotel right by the office, there is this white woman standing there naked. I am not even kidding. Totally butt naked, standing in the parking lot. Another woman is yelling at her, telling her um, that she needs to get her ass back in her hotel room. Girl, you're naked. <laughs> God. And then people were coming out of their hotel rooms there on the front, you know, observing. The people came out of the office. I guess they called the police. I don't know. The woman was out of her mind. She was probably on something. I just put my head down and kept walking, man. <laughs> but without my my normal attire and my uh, normal look, my makeup and my hair stuff. I, I feel like I belong here. <laughs> At least I look like I do. I am not being a snob. I just thought it was funny. Sorry if, I, if I'm coming off as a snob. I am definitely not a snob. I'm a nomad. I mean, I live in, well, I used to live in my RV and travel the roads and camp on free government land. I'm definitely not a snob, but goodness. Wow. Okay, so here's what's going on. Camo Dave just did the lead story for his afternoon video today on, I think it's April 7th, on Lulu's demise. So I thought that was very sweet of him. My GoFundMe is still there. It's at 12,600 and something, I think 601. And I so appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, I can't even express how grateful I am to all of you. But I, right before I left Arizona, I had gotten an Arizona driver's license. And I, they voided my driver's license from Washington, D.C., which I've been driving around on since I left D.C. back in 2017. Um, because it didn't expire. But since I went ahead <clears throat> and established residency in Arizona this year, I went and got my driver's license there right before I left. So they gave me the paper one and they voided my DC license. I still have that, but it's voided. And I also have my passport. But the paper license, along with the brand new registration for Lulu that I had just gotten and the title for Lulu was in an envelope right next to the driver seat. And because the paper license, when I folded it, it just did not fit in my um, wallet. So when I got out of the RV as it was burning, got my purse with the wallet and my phone and the dogs, of course, and Dave. But I didn't remember that right there next to me in the driver's seat in the, you know, the little uh, pocket in the door was my paper driver's license. So I lost that. Now, I'm sure that my um, actual driver's license from Arizona is in my UPS store box there in Yuma. So I just remember that they will forward the mail to me. So I've got to call them. I called earlier and they were just really busy and said to call back in about an hour. So I'm going to call them. If it is in that UPS box in Yuma, then I'm going to pay them to forward it to a UPS store here. But that means I'm stuck in Fresno waiting. Of course, I can't get out of Fresno because I can't even rent a car. So, yeah, I have found a bus that I really want. Um, Tim Conley, who is the mechanic for Helm on Wheels Alliance and also a very good friend of mine, also was Lulu's mechanic. He uh, has talked to the guy that has the bus for sale. It's in another city about three hours from me. And um, I really want that bus. So if I can get my driver's license, 
and rent a car before the bus sells, then I will drive out to, I think it's Hayward, Hayworth, something like that, California, and I will buy that bus. Um, yeah, I'm really like hoping that that works out. Uh, in the interim, it would be great if somebody out here in Fresno could uh, pick me up and take me to go buy that bus. I would, oh, pay your gas and buy you a dinner and love you forever. Um, so that's what's going on with that. And uh, secondly, I found a 1991, so that's 30 years old, Class A RV that has been completely redone here about 30 miles north of Fresno, but they're wanting 12.5 for that, which I think is really pricey for a 30 year old RV, even if it has been redone. Uh, the guy that owns it is a mechanic, so he's saying on his ad that he has gone through the thing and completely redid, you know, not only the interior, but the engine, transmission, drivetrain, all of that, fuel pump, fuel system, tires, whatever, has been redone. So it's like, a 30 year old RV with a facelift, right? That is also an option. But again, it's 30 miles north of where I am. And I don't even know if I could get an Uber or a Lyft to take me that far. I'd have to check. But I sent an email to the guy and I am waiting to hear back from him. It's not what I want, but it would get me a home and wheels to get back on the road and reclaim my life and start looking for um, you know, what I want later down the road, which is a schoolie. The only problem is at 12.5, it takes the entirety of what I have raised, except for some of you who have sent money to my, uh, PayPal directly. That's a couple thousand dollars, but that would not leave me anything to furnish it or buy clothes or dog stuff that I need or, um, you know, dishes. Pots and pans, groceries, that kind of thing. Towels, sheets. Um, so, you know, to me, the bus being $3,000 less, yes, I'm going to have to convert it because it's not at all converted. It still has the seats. But the bus is what I really want. You know, that's what I really, really want. <sighs> so much, so much. But I am just kind of chilling here in this ghetto motel room. <laughs> And trying to figure things out, waiting to hear back from people, and um, just loving the fact that you guys have been so generous. Talk to you guys later. Peace.